Hey everyone, it's Kevin. Welcome to my kitchen. So today we are going to be making cinnamon sugar pecans. This recipe is so easy, you guys. My mom made these for years and years and years. She would make triples and triples and triples of batches of these. Um, she would wrap them up and give them to family and friends during the holidays, and they're certainly just really, really delicious. So what you are going to need is a large bowl, a medium-sized bowl, one pound of half pecans, and then you're going to actually need two baking trays, and I'll explain that a bit later. A little bit later. Now, um, if you have a silicone mat, you can use a silicone mat so that you're not using the foil. But if you are using foil, you guys, you wanna make sure that you prepare this pan really well and you wanna make sure that you spray it really good with some cooking spray, all right? Because we don't want anything to stick, so, all right? So if you're using your, um, uh, your silicone mat, you're not gonna have to do that, right? Okay, good, good, good. So in your large bowl, one egg white and one tablespoon of water. In this bowl, you're going to do one cup of sugar, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt, all right? Now, in this bowl, which is the uh, egg white and the um, tablespoon of water, you wanna whip this really good, you guys. So what you're doing is you're going in here and you're just making this really, really frothy. And I go really, 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 really a lot. Because you want it super, super frothy because this is going to cause the cinnamon, the sugar, and um, to basically stick really well to your pecans. Really go to town, you guys. Woohoo! It's a good workout. All right, so super, super foamy. All right, now, then you're going to take your pecans and you're just gonna dump them right in to this large bowl, all right? And then you're gonna toss them. So toss them to coat those egg whites all over your pecans. And you guys, I am really, fanatic-y and picky about this kind of stuff, so I really make sure that every one of those nuts is covered really well in those egg whites, okay? No dry soldier left behind. All right, now, then, uh, before you do this, make sure that you mix this up really well, you guys. Sugar, cinnamon, salt, all right? And then we're gonna dump that in. Work fast. Now, you're just going to toss these really simple, you guys. Don't go in there and beat them. You're basically just folding these to make sure that all the cinnamon and the sugar mixture gets coated on these nuts, all right? So just keep going. Be patient with this process, you guys. You don't want to be too violent with it because you don't want to knock off the coating, right? Now, then take your prepared sheet pan and you're going to do one layer of these onto your pan. And then what I like to do is just scoochy scoochy them around because you really want just one simple layer of these all over the pan. Sometimes I just go in here with my impeccably clean fingers and just pop, 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 move them around, just like that, right? Sometimes, you guys, what I even do, if these are not already measured out for me because I keep pecans in my pantry all the time, um, I've done enough of these that I kind of eyeball it. I know exactly what a pound is, and sometimes I even throw maybe another handful in, and there certainly is enough of the mixture to be able to cut those, coat those nuts. Okay, so now here is the important part, all right? So we are going to go into a preheated 300 oven. So 300, you guys, I think it's 300, not 350. Oh my gosh, all right, it's 300. If I, if I come back after the break and the temperature's different, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure it's 300 degrees. Ah, oh my gosh, it's 300 or 350. I'm so, so sorry, all right? And I don't have my glasses on because I can't read my recipe. So anyway, they're gonna go in for 30 minutes. So that's the important thing. So I think it's 300 
for 30 minutes because it takes a while, you guys, it takes a while, all right? And then when these come out, very important, and I'll come back to show you, they have to be taken off of this sheet right away and I dump them onto just a regular baking tray like this, no foil necessary, and then I scooch them around so that they'll cool because you don't want them to like um, dry as one big mass of cinnamon sugar pecan, all right? So we will come back and I'm gonna double check the time and the temperature for you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's 300 degrees for 30 minutes. Okay guys, I'm back um, and this is hot. So what you wanna do right away is regular baking sheet, right? Take this and start to scrape it off onto this cold baking sheet, all right? Um, this, <laughs> it's getting hot. <laughs> My glove is not working. All right, hold on. I'm gonna get them all off of there. Woohoo! All right, okay. All right, there, there, there. Let me get rid of this, hold on. All right, then what you wanna do is just pitter-pat and pop these around, all right? You wanna try to make a single layer again, like you did when you made the first round before they went into the oven, right? So teeny, teeny, teeny layer, just like this. So, cause you want them to cool, not as one big giant blob, because this is hot, hot sugar, hot, hot sugar. And um, so that is about it, you guys. So it takes a while for these to cool, but I'm telling you, these are so delicious, you guys. You will find that they make like just the best little hostess gift to give. I make, you know, four or five batches of these um, during the holidays. So I just always have them to put into some Tupperware, um, some Christmas canisters, um, even if you just go and get some cellophane bags and put a nice bow on it or something, these are super, super delicious. So um, I hope you guys enjoy this recipe um, and I will somehow, since I'm loading, loading this on YouTube, get the printed recipe to you guys too. So thanks a lot for watching. Happy holiday.